today I will speak about headlamps in my attempt to try help you decide what headlamp is best for your situation. I, I don't have all of them. There are so many headlamps on the market. It is impossible for me to, to, to have all of them. I can only um, introduce what I thought can be best for my situation and then uh, let you know uh, how I choose for myself um, a better headlamp. I, I started my, my journey uh, browsing the internet and buying what the so-called influencers were saying it is a better headlamp. Uh, what do I mean by the so-called influencers? You have there people receiving products for free in exchange of their opinion. Also, you, you have um, organizations or people um, making a, a living out of expressing their opinion about various items. Nothing ba bad about it, uh, except some, uh, some, uh, some bias. The issue is, sometimes, they, in my opinion, they get it totally wrong because um, they, they miss, they miss the, mar the mark. For my case, I ended up buying this uh, Black Diamond Storm 350 headlamp. At the time, six years ago, was, uh, as we were seeing, the better headlamp out there. It provided, for the time, for the technology we had um, um, at that time, it provided good performance. It is waterproof, um, strong beam light, uh, 350 lumen, uh, six years ago was something. Overall, a uh, good headlamp. I still have it. Uh, it still functions. Uh, it is a good headlamp. But with time, I thought, because 350 lumen was OK, but to me, in some situations, wasn't enough. Also, what happened there was having issues with the batteries. Um, I wasn't pleased with how long lasted. And eventually, I told myself it is time to buy a new headlamp. And again, I've been out there on the internet reading what everyone was saying, and I ended up buying this Petzl Actic Core. I was che checking the other day, and they, they still say this is the best headlamp possible. And I'm shocked, because in my opinion, this, <laughs> this is not true. I was checking. There is a new release of this uh, Actic Core from Petzl. And it is as bad as this, as this headlamp. And my hunch is, Soon, we will see that promoted as the better headlamp out there. And again, I'm shocked, and I will let you know why. My mistake, when I bought this headlamp, I was only reading what so-called influencers were saying. This is the best headlamp. You should have it. I bought it. I have it. It doesn't do what I need. And what I need is a waterproof body. The issue with this headlamp is all plastic with only water resistance capabilities. So practically, if you are out there and it starts raining, if this gets wet, it will stop working. For my case, this is not good. If you are around the camp, I bought this Noctilite add-on precisely for, for this reason. Because with this one, you achieve the same effect as using this torch around the camp when you are inside your tent. And I thought, I made a mistake. I bought this. They promised 450 lumen uh, beam power. It's not really there because <coughs> you only get the 450 lumen for two hours if you, you use it like that. Around the camp, it is OK. You will only use it a bit, and that's it. So yes, I will, I will, 
I'll make something good out of it. Of course, if it happens that you have to camp when it is raining, uh, this will not help you because it is only water resistant. What were the issues? Let me, let me summarize them. It is water resistant, not waterproof. And the 450 lumen are a promise achievable for only two hours. After two hours, you have to replace, uh, you have to change the, the battery or recharge it. This is not good. It's not good because it costs a lot. And if you cannot use it for as long as you need at 450 lumen, and also if it gets wet, it stops working, then there is a better headlamp at a better um, price. And overall, when it comes to what you pay for the performance, this headlamp, it is the best deal possible. It is the, the spot from Black Diamond, the, the, the 325 lumen spot from Black Diamond. This headlamp, and in my opinion, also the newer versions, these spot headlamps from Black Diamond, they might easily be the best headlamp out there because at a fantastic price, they deliver exceptional results. This Spot 325, of course, it is waterproof, which means I can use this when it rains, when it snows, when, whenever I need, I don't have to worry about the headlamp stopping and uh, not being usable. Also, what, what happens with this headlamp is the, the lasting average power. Why, why do I say average power? Because it is only a 325 lumen headlamp. And to me, this is average. And I, you'll see in a moment why. But it lasts. This one will take you at 325 lumen up to four hours. Four hours, it is a good, good promise. Then combined with waterproofness and by having also the, the red and blue lights, LEDs, it becomes a very, very, very good headlamp. Very good price, like affordable uh, price. Um, and uh, exceptional results. My issue with, free, with these three headlamps was the power. I need more power. Maybe I will not use it always, but I need to have it. I need to make sure when I'm out there, on a Via Ferrata, on a mountain, climbing, mountaineering, going um, at altitude, thinking that maybe something will happen and I have to spend the night to figure out my way out of a situation, then these three headlights cannot do it, unfortunately. So I decided for myself to just do it, spend the money, because the idea was I bought this as my first headlamp and it did very well. It, it cost a lot at the time, but I thought, well, if I buy for myself a headlamp, it should be a good one. And it was, um, it did well, but the day to me is not enough. Then I thought I have to replace that. So if I replace that with a headlamp that um, will become my main headlamp, I should spend money and this one gets uh, quite expensive overall. Um, yes, so I spent money, bought this one, and it proved to be a bad headlamp. Then I thought, wait a moment, I, I cannot spend a fortune because, well, I'm not rich, and all these headlamps are um, uh, bought with my own money, and I work hard for, uh, for, for this to happen. And I thought, let's buy something cheaper and that overall gets me there. And it is how I bought this um, Black Diamond Spot 325. Uh, it does very well on the Aferrata, for example, because I always have it with me. I only sometimes use it, and uh, it is fantastic for, for, for this case scenario. Also, I know if something happens and I end up being on the mountain, 
um, trying to figure out my way out of a situation, it will last for a couple of good hours. They say four hours to 325. Now, I don't always put new batteries, so I expect uh, this headlamp when I will um, need its help to only last for uh, up to three hours, but it is still a good um, result. Let's get back to what I was saying. They are good or not. The Petzl Arctic Core for sure is not a headlamp uh, um, for me to like. They are good. They get to somewhere, but to me is not enough. I wanted more. And by more, I mean in a waterproof body, I want lasting power. By lasting, I mean above five hours. And by power, I mean at least 450 lumen. 450 lumen is good. If you can get more, is even better. I did my part. This time I've tried to research to the best of my abilities and figure out what can be the better headlamp out there. And I bought it. I have it. It cost me quite a lot. Uh, again, nobody is sponsoring me. I work hard to buy these items. I'm trying to stay safe uh, and at the same time I'm trying to enjoy life, enjoy nature, go out there um, where is wilderness around uh, and at the same time to stay as safe as to the best of my abilities. It is why I buy them, but to buy them I work hard and it is hard work. I, I work so hard, you cannot imagine. I told myself, let's do it. I need something to make sure when I go there, I don't make a stupid mistake or I don't end up in a bad situation just because I, I wanted to save um, some money. So I bought it. It is, it is a bit bulky. It is a bit heavy. But they promise this black diamond Storm 500 R <coughs> delivers lasting power in a waterproof body. Let me repeat. Black Diamond promises that this Storm 500 R delivers lasting power in a waterproof body. To me, this is a fantastic promise. And I will tell you why. Petzl came up with an Arctic core, with a new version of the Arctic core. They promise a lot out there, but it is still water resistant and this so-called lasting power, it is actually adaptive, so practically you have it, but you don't. Well, when it comes to this Black Diamond Storm 500R, the lasting power is lasting. They say it will last for seven hours, which is incredible when you stay and think we speak about 500 lumens. 500 lumen, it is a lot. And for them to say you will get it for seven hours, it is a big promise because no matter how, how things go on the, on the mountain for my circumstances, 500 lumen for seven hours will mean, will always mean I can use this headlamp for at least 12 hours because I'm confident when I'm out there in a bad spot trying to figure out my way out, I can, I can bounce between using when I need the 500 lumen and then when I don't, only 300, 350 or 400 lumen, for example. I can bounce between, between that. Now, you'll come and say, well, isn't this an adaptive behavior? Why not buy the Petzl Arctic Core, the new Petzl Arctic Core? And you are correct um, with, uh, with this strategy of um, using the headlamp at various intensities, I can make it last for 12 hours. But let me tell you something. The Petzl Arctic Core, the new Petzl Arctic Core, is only water resistant. If it rains, you have an issue. Well, it will stop working. And then, overall, the, Petz, the new Petzl Arctic Core doesn't last for 12 hours. So, 
here you have it. This black diamond Storm 500R comes with two things that I don't like. The R part, which means it R doesn't mean replaceable, it means rechargeable. It comes with a battery which is rechargeable but not replaceable. You have no control over the battery. The other bad part is the, US, uh, the USB, micro USB port. This headlamp comes with a micro USB port. It is disappointing because I always have with me a power bank. Being forced to carry a USB-C and a micro USB cable, um, it makes me unhappy. Now, the thing is, unfortunately, there are many good devices, rely, uh, many good devices I rely on when I go on the mountain that still come as of today when USB-C is the norm, they come with micro USB. One way or another, I still have to have both USB-C and micro USB cables with me. And because of that, I will not hate it too much, but I would love to, to see in this new version a USB-C port. Doesn't happen, it is what it is. And the, these are the two things I don't like about this, um, this headlamp. Why don't I like the idea of having a battery which is not replaceable? <clears throat> because I would love for this Arctic Core, for example, it comes with a rechargeable battery. Yes, you can see it. And then I bought another one. If it happens that I'm out there and I need more, I just swap the, ba the batteries and I keep going. With this one, I cannot do that. With this one, I'm forced to recharge. But this means two things. If I recharge while walking and it rains, well, I expose the micro USB port, so that one is that. Or otherwise, I have to use it and then when it stops, uh, when the battery is exhausted, I have to take it off and recharge it. This means I cannot continue my uh, venture. And if it is about me using this to the last drop of um, power of battery, it means I'm in big trouble. It means I need this headlamp to navigate around. And if I get there to that uh, point, then uh, I, have a, I have an issue. My reasoning when I decided to go with it and still buy it was most of the times I will not get myself that far. If it happens, it's because I break a leg and I'm trapped on the mountain. But otherwise, it... it I never been in that uh, situation so far. I don't think I will ever be in a situation like this to to be out there navigating and needing a headlamp that will last at 500 lumen for more than 7 hours. I, I don't see um, I don't see it happening. Again, if I will get myself into trouble by breaking a leg or getting lost, but usually if I don't know where I'm going, I will stop and wait for, for the sun before continuing. It really depends. But yes, to me, this headlamp is the better choice. I don't know what will be for yourself, but as of today, in my opinion, there is no better alternative Yes, you can try and go with a similar model from Black Diamond that has a replaceable battery, but for my case, what I wanted was something that can deliver without me thinking too much. If I have to get myself into a situation of carrying batteries with me, 
I will easily go with this spot, for example, or buy another um, storm or st uh, spot from uh, Black Diamond and just do it. But what I wanted was a headlamp that, as is, delivers lasting power. I don't want to think too much because each time I think too much, I end up with a heavy, huge backpack on my shoulders. Believe it or not, when you go up the mountain, having a huge, heavy backpack costs you dearly. I'm trying to minimize that, to get myself into a position where I only have what is necessary without so many redundancies around and make it to the end. To me, this Storm 500R from Black Diamond does that. Before I close, let me introduce you to something. I have an issue with the so-called influencers. The problem with the influencers is them receiving products for free in exchange of their opinion. When this happens, you have an implicit bias. It is very hard for someone to get something for free and come and say, full mouth, this item is not good. Because of this, well, you have a bias and um, it gets the, the audience into trouble. It happened to me so many times. I will soon, maybe, I will think about it. It has nothing to do with mountaineering. Um, I, will, I will think about it, but maybe soon I will come and speak about the new uh, DJI action uh, camera in comparison with the new GoPro. Um, what happened there, as always, you have this community of influencers getting the product before being released, and then it gets released, and internet is flooded with their opinion. But their opinion is biased. It only provides the specs and positive um, wording about the items. It doesn't help me. What I need to know for me as a mountaineer is how, how well it serves me. Is that camera serving me well for my situation? Because for my case, I don't care about color grading, for example. I will never use that. I need a camera that does what it's supposed to do while mountaineering. And I will get there when probably I will speak about um, action cameras. So I received for free from Uben this H5. I left it for last because the only thing I will do is to introduce the headlamp to you. So practically, I got this for free and uh, my hunch here is people want me to introduce this to you. I will restrain myself from saying should you buy it or not, it is good or not, uh, what happens by comparison. I, 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 I paid for all these uh, headlamps, the Arctic Core from Petzl, the Storm headlights from Black Diamond and the Spot headlight from Black Diamond as well. And I will say, this is what happened while using them. I used this, at, I tested it, um, I have an impression, I know um, uh, where this positions for my case scenario, but I will not, not say it to you. What I will say is, it is a metal frame that rotates in this plastic support. It is waterproof, it comes with only one lead. With Black Diamond, you get a blue, a red, and also for the Storm, a green lead besides the white lead. With Petzl Arctic, you get a red uh, lead as well. With this headlamp, you only get the white lead. It, they say it will deliver 450 lumen. In reality, you only get the 450 lumen for 10 minutes if you use this rechargeable battery. This rechargeable battery, let me show it to you. You see, it is USB-C, which is amazing. I'm impressed. And 
lasts for a while. It depends on uh, on uh, on uh, how you you use it. I had this with me on uh, on Via Ferrata. Um, I was climbing Via Ferrata during the night, uh, so it is how I tested this headlamp. As I was saying, it comes with uh, three intensities: uh, the lowest, the middle, and the highest. Then you have a strobe. It is all metal, which is interesting based on uh, your case scenario. It can be interesting. Full waterproof, for sure, will do well in wet environments. Uh, so yes, this is the Uben H5 headlamp. Thank you for watching. I hope I was able to convey a clean message. How to choose the better headlamp for your situation. For my case, the better headlamp, headlamp is the Black Diamond Storm 500R just because it is waterproof and delivers lasting power. By lasting power, I mean 500 lumen for up to 7 hours. To me, this is impressive. If you cannot afford paying so much, or it might be that for your specific case scenario, you don't need that much, I will, I will say, in my opinion, that a good buy is the spot from Black Diamond. To me, this spot 325 it is the overall the best contender just because i practically paid nothing and it delivers a lot of um, a lot of power and for my case i see myself always carrying this with me just in case to have a headlamp and then when i go in on the mountain or when i entertain specific activities where i know i need something more i will definitely put uh, put this on um, on the backpack 